So at long last here, I've got my variable frequency drive hooked up to my milling machine. Got things all wired in. So I got a little bit of cleanup to do with the wiring. And as you can see, I need a cover on the panel here and I want to duct it with a filter for air for cooling. So uh, here we've got the variable frequency drive. Breaking resistor on the side there. And uh, inside there and behind, you can see I got a contactor. That's to start the variable frequency drive. And uh, the instruction said not to use one, but um, I kind of ignored that. And I think this is a little bit better of a system. That way, if the power kicks on and off a couple of times, once the power kicks off, it's off for good, and you have to reset it to turn it back on. So uh, that VFD there sends out my three phase power to the motor here. In conjunction with that, I also have uh, one 10 volt that's fed down into the original cabinet here, which I gutted. The 110 is gonna power the, uh, the coolant pump and also the, uh, the table here. There's a couple contactors in there for a couple different functions as well. And uh, I'll go over that in a second. And at this end here, I built a little control panel with a uh, stop and start there on the right. The center ones are uh, direction on the bottom and coolant on the top. Uh, my jog button is a black button there, and the dial on the bottom is the speed. So, operation's pretty simple here. Green to go. It sends power up to the VFD, which should kick on in a couple of seconds here. There it goes. Turning it off is just a matter of hitting the red button there. So that uh, sends 110 down energizes the panel here, as you can see by the green light that's on. At this end here, nothing happens until I turn, uh, turn that on. That turns on a contactor in the cabinet, which then sends power out to, out to the table feed here. And the reason I've got that is so that if I hit the stop button here, that turns off the table feed as well. So, uh, so I'm not feeding a table into a stopped end mill or something. So then to start the, uh, start the unit here, power's up, frequency picks up there, spindle's turning, speed's controlled right here. For some reason I max out at about halfway up, got that set for 60 hertz. And so that's the normal operating speed for this thing. So I can dial it down here. Pretty slick. So that's running at about, uh, what's that say, 20 hertz there. So about one third speed and there I'm down to 17. So yeah. And I'll slow this down a little bit here. Throw it in reverse. There, it turns itself around. Now we're feeding in reverse. Speed up, speed down. Stop button kills everything. So uh, this one, uh, no, that's direction there. This one's my coolant, uh, and that'll feed my uh, my new pump, replacing the uh, the three phase pump in the sump with a uh, one ten volt version right here. So that's it, up and running. Like I said, I got a little bit of cleanup to do here yet, but um, this is a culmination of a lot of hours of wiring. You know, take a real electrician half the time. But um, yeah, pretty happy with the way it's turned out so far. My jog button stopped working for some reason. Not entirely sure why. It was working a minute ago, but uh, right now it's not. It's not putting, up, uh, putting out enough juice. Not sure why. I'll track that down. Anyway, yeah, it puts out like 0.2 hertz, which obviously isn't going to spin nothing. So, that's a variable frequency drive.